Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for Taurus season. If you are new, welcome. Please remember to please remember to subscribe so you get all the messages I post each month, okay? If you already know me, welcome back guys. And the first card to jump out, remain positive. I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box, okay? Ask for help from others, the next card there. And no need to worry, okay. Hearing Bob Marley now. Don't worry about a thing. So, remain positive. Seven of Wands. So you're going through some challenging times and that's why you're being asked to remain positive and told not to worry. Maybe even ask help from other people, okay? Um, you'll have to stand your ground and be assertive though. So keep pushing forward, remain positive, keep doing what you're doing and you will get through this, okay? The Hierophant. So I feel like here a blessing will be coming. Um, it may be disguised at the moment um, with challenges, but a blessing is coming here from the Hierophant. So again, remember, there is no need to worry. Even in these challenging times, I mean, a lot of people um, are facing challenging times, but just like I told Cancers, um, you know, really look at all the good that's being promoted right now. All the good people that are stepping up to help others. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things will change. I feel like this is the main message here for you. If you're going through this rough time, there's no need to worry. You can ask others for help. You can ask the divine for help. You may even be praying to the divine here for help. But a blessing is coming Things will change with the Wheel of Fortune. No need to worry about that. When we're down, the only way is up. And after this darkness will come the light. It's always promised. Four of Cups. You're not seeing it right now. And I understand that when things look dark and grim. And, you know, it looks like there's no way out of this. And nothing can happen. But remain positive stay with prayer here, you know, um, and things will change. You're not seeing it happening here. It might be to do with the love because usually, you know, there's a cup being offered behind somebody's back and that, that, that they're just not seeing. So if you're finding challenges in romance right now, um, there's an offer of love coming. You're just not seeing it. It's even like an offer of love from the divine here. Um, it's how we look at things, right? Because look at her perspective here. She's laid upside down. Um, so maybe a change of view is needed. I know we've all been stuck inside. So yeah, you're getting fed up of this being stuck inside. I know. Two of cups. So here's your soulmate. Your soulmate's feeling the same. They're tired of being stuck inside. They're tired of, um, challenges in their romantic life and a blessing is on the way. I wonder here, um where we're leading to if we have an offer of love coming in and this two of cups is a soulmate card so it could be that you know while some people are in a relationship and finding it challenging at home with each other um it could be that some are far apart yeah three of wands so some people can't travel towards each other because of the lockdown here but it's saying it'll be worth the wait just imagine um, you know, once you see each other again here, it's like I'm envisioning somebody running into each other's arms, seven of cups, it's confusion and it's sadness and um, all this, why is this happening to us, right? Why did this have to happen to us? Why did it have to happen to me? Why am I going through this dark, you know, night of the soul? Well, like my post suggested the other day, sometimes when we're taken through those troubled waters, it's because our enemies can't swim. So <clears throat> rather than, you know, feeling confused and sadness here, and I feel like wishing and praying, a lot of that might be going on and waiting for um, the divine to deliver to you. The divine will deliver to you. You just need to stay in high spirits and positivity, okay? Because it's coming with the three of wands. This is a soulmate here as well. So this there's a soulmate coming. You may have options of people with the Seven of Cups. 
your soulmate may even have options of people, right? Um, but not all of them are good for you. Not all of them are right for you. But somebody who is good for you, who is the right one for you, is coming now, okay? This is what I'm seeing with the Three of Wands. It may have been a long time. You know, this is why you have give up waiting or you're starting to doubt or something here is going on. Um, and this is why the first message was remain positive. Stay strong now when you're at the final hurdle. Stay strong. Let's see here. Okay. Queen of Cups. Okay, so it could be a water sign coming towards you making this love offer or who's coming into your life, but it doesn't have to be. We have Taurus, we have fire signs, you know, uh, all the signs will generally come out. Um, this can be Pisces, this could be Cancer. Uh, but yeah, here I feel like somebody's going to come into your life and really nurture you. It's going to be a really soft love now that you've been waiting for, like the right person or sent by the divine here, what you've been wishing for. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. I feel like maybe even some people may be having same-sex relationships and it may be like, if it's two women, like an older woman who's coming towards you. Ten of Cups, yeah. You're heading towards this happiness and this fulfillment in a relationship, in this love. I feel like um, somebody's gone through these tough times up here, these challenges with the seven. Um, and to, to stay course here, okay? To stay on course. I know it's waiting and it's, it's boredom and, you know, it's confusing waiting at times. But stay the course here. Remain positive because it's heading towards this beautiful nurturing love with the Ten of Cups. You may have even found out on your journey that you don't need anybody else in your Ten of Cups, right? Because look at this Ten of Cups. Usually it's children and family. You may realize, you know, I don't need another person to be happy. And that's why your soulmate is now coming. Because you've filled yourself with this love. Uh, your intuition could be telling you somebody's coming and you're like, who? I don't have anybody. Um, but the divine's saying, yes, you do. Seven of Pentacles. So you've waited long enough. This is what the divine's saying. You've waited long enough. I do feel like I need some extra cards here. So let me have a look. I don't usually pull extra cards in the general reads, but let me have a look. Try to turn that down a bit. Um, so yeah, it's something that you've waited a long time for and that's why you're being told now, stay the course. You're almost there. Three of, um, wands in the heart of the reading. You may be needing or they may be needing to travel to you across the seas here. Um, the lovers. Yeah, this is definitely a divine love being sent your way. Let's see. Could be a Gemini. Um, king of cups there so somebody who was uh, is going to now speak up and express their love to you they're now being sent by the divine and drawn to you five of swords could be during uh mercury retrograde because we have that coming up in cancer season there um but i feel like communication um between this person has been difficult in them expressing how they love you here and that's what you've been waiting for, that expression of love. Maybe you haven't met them yet. That's why they haven't expressed their love. Um, but it's coming. And it's what you deserve. It's what you've been praying for. Your prayers are heard here. Just remain positive and stay the distance, guys. Good luck.